find second smallest number in array. So the problem statement is given an array of integers, we have to write a code to find second smallest number in an array. The array may or may not be sorted. And for example, in the first example, given an array of unsorted integers. So in this array, the second smallest number is two. So two is the output. In the second example, three is the second smallest number. So three is the output. And in the third example, minus one is the second smallest number in this array. So the array may or may not be sorted. So please keep this point in your mind. And also we have to solve this problem in single traversal. And how do we solve this problem in single traversal? Let's discuss it. So in this, in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem. Let's discuss our first approach to solve this problem. And the simplest approach is to sort the given array and return the element present at first index. For example, uh, assume this is the input integers. This is the input array we have given. So once we sort this array, the elements will be arranged in sorted order. And the sorted order is minus two, minus one, then five, then six, and then nine. And as we know, array indexes start from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. So return the element which is present at first index of an array. So minus one is the output. But what about this case? If we sort this array, then see, it will arrange like this and the element which is present at first index. So indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the element which is present at first index is 1. So definitely this is not the second smallest uh, number. The second smallest number is 3. So please remember that this approach won't work if the array elements are repeated. So if the, if the array contain duplicate elements, then this approach will not work. So it is important to clear, I mean, to first ask with the interviewer that the array con uh, consist of only distinct element or repeated element. If it contains duplicate elements, then please don't use this approach to solve this problem. And also, this is not the optimal approach to solve this problem. As, as we know, the time complexity of this approach is n log n. So sorting, so we have to sort an array and sorting, the time complexity of sorting an array is O n log n. And here are the code for uh, this approach. So he, here are few conditions and the condition are if the array is empty or if it contains less than two elements then definitely you can't able to find the second smallest number so here i have returned the integer maximum possible value and based on that i'll do the handling that if if it returns the integer max possible value it means the second uh, second smallest number does not exist in this array else i have sorted the array and then return the element which is present at first index so it is the second smallest uh, number present in this array but remember please don't use this approach if the array elements are repeated or if it contains the duplicate elements and now let's see the optimal way to solve this problem in a single traversal now let's discuss how we can solve this problem in a single traversal. Now the second way to solve this problem is to first find the smallest element in an array and then we know the second smallest element will be greater than the smallest but it is smallest than the rest of the elements. So one way is to first iterate an array find the smallest number and then again iterate the array to find the second smallest element. In this case we have to use the two for loops but instead of that what we can do is we can declare two variables smallest and second smallest this will track the smallest number and this will track the second smallest number and initially we assign the integer maximum possible value in both the variables then what uh, then the next step is to iterate this array from the zeroth element and then if this element is greater than uh, if this element is smaller than the value already assigned in, in a smallest variable then assign this element in the smallest and definitely the previous smallest value now become the second smallest let's see 
so let's visualize this approach so in a smallest and second and smallest we have assigned the integer maximum value then uh, you are familiar with this condition as I have already explained in my previous approach then uh, we have to iterate we have to traverse this array now the element which is present at zeroth index is minus two and the initial value of the smallest is integer maximum possible value so when we compare with the smallest is the element assigned at smallest variable is greater than minus two yes if it is then the value present at the smallest becomes the second smallest so we have assigned we so second smallest already contains uh, we have already assigned the integer maximum possible value in second smallest now the small the previous value of smallest is also initial value of smallest is also integer maximum value so we have assigned this value in second smallest and now the value of smallest the new value of smallest is minus two then we check is this current element is uh, greater than smallest no definitely not so this condition is skipped then we move to next element and the next element is 5 so is 5 is greater than i mean is 5 is smaller than the element present at smallest variable and the element present at the smallest variable is minus 2 no then we move to this condition is this element if is the current element is greater than smallest yes and it is less than second smallest so in second smallest the value present is integer maximum possible value yes it is smaller than second smallest so the new value of second smallest is 5 now the next element is 6 so is 6 is is the value assigned at the smallest which is minus 2 is greater than 6 no so this condition is skipped and the second condition is is this element is greater than the element assigned at second uh, at smallest variable yes and is it is element present at second smallest is greater than this value six so the element so the current value of second smallest is five and five is not greater than six so this condition is also skipped similarly if you compare nine with these two condition it is false and we move to this value minus one so so the first condition is is minus one is less than uh, minus two so the current value of smallest is minus two and this value is minus one so is minus one is less than minus two no so this condition is skipped and the second condition is is minus one is greater than minus two yes and it is smaller than the value present at uh, second is smallest so the value assigned in second is smallest is 5 yes it is smaller than uh, the value as already assigned in second is smallest so uh, we assign new value to second is smallest which is minus 1 and after that we came out of this loop and we return the second is smallest and the second is smallest is minus 1 so now let's talk about the time and space complexity of this approach so it the time complexity is o n we are traversing an array once and its space complexity is o one so we are using constant space so we are using two variables to find the second smallest and also uh, it does not depend upon the input array size now in this array the input array size is five element now suppose if the input array size is thousand it is still using these two variables to find the second smallest uh, number so that's why uh, the space complexity is o1 so it is constant now this is the main method where i am constructing an array and i am calling this method and i have passed this array as an argument and if i get a uh, result which is integer max value then i know the second smallest number does not exist else i have printed uh, the result which is the second smallest number so that's it for this video tutorial 
and thanks for watching this tutorial and for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash webrewrite dot com and please don't forget to like this video thanks for watching this video